Hello and how's it and welcome to another video about traveling in a time of COVID. This video specifically covers traveling to Chile and the requirements that you will need. Please watch until the end because I will give you some tips that will, from our personal experience, that will make your travel easier and reduce the stress. So let's jump right in and start with the requirements before traveling to Chile. So step number one. You must validate your vaccinations online. This I would recommend that you do 30 days before um, starting your holiday. Ours took only 5 days online but do it as soon as possible so that you make sure that they are validated. The process starts by going to a website www.c19.cl this is where you will register and where you, you will also do your online affidavit two days before your flight. Remember, you must log in and register under the option for emails. This is for foreigners. After you've registered at c19.cl, you will go to a website www.mivakunu.gob.cl and log in there. This is the page where you must upload your proof of vaccination. Please use the original government issued PDF. We initially uploaded copies that we took off our phones and that was rejected for quality. So rather upload the original PDF that'll make your life a lot easier. Once your vaccinations has been approved on the site, you can then go on to step number two. And this is your PCR test before departure. You will need to do a PCR test not older than 72 hours before your last boarding flight to Chile. Once you have the negative PCR test, you need to get travel insurance and a letter from your travel insurance showing that you have COVID health cover for not less than 30,000 US dollars. They will check this document. Ours were checked before boarding and on arrival. The next step is then to create your online affidavit. This you can only do 48 hours before your flight to Chile. You will do this by going again to c19.cl. The site will ask you to upload the proof of your negative PCR and it will ask you to upload the letter from your travel insurance showing that you've got cover. And we printed all our documents. This made the process for us a lot quicker um, because we could just pull it out. They do accept online copies or digital copies, but it seems to go slower for the people, especially showing it on your phones. So if you can, rather print them and have them all ready. The better your documentation, the quicker and the less stressful the whole process will be. Step number five. If you fly into Santiago, after you've arrived, your documentation will be checked. If they're happy with your documentation, they will do another PCR test. That PCR test is free of charge and it'll be done at the airport right after the documents has been checked before you go uh, through passport control and before you get your baggage. The step number six is you wait for your PCR results. We got our PCR results online after about 12 hours. You can check the results yourself at www.bionet.cl. You will also get an email, but the email came at about 48 hours after we could check it online. Okay, then step number seven, check your mobility pass. Again, your mobility pass, you can check online at mivocano.cl and they, it's, a, it's got a quick QR code on it. Scan that QR code with your phone. Once you've scanned the QR code, it'll take you to a website. The website will ask you to scan it again and your mobility pass status should show your name, a portion of your passport number, and also the word must clearly state enabled. Your mobility pass will also then state for you that your quarantine has ended and that you can leave your accommodation. Once that's done, you are actually free to leave your um, quarantine, but and yet it gets a bit confusing. We were visited at our quarantine accommodation within the first five days. 
we weren't there the first time and we then got an email from the Chilean Health Department asking us to explain why we were not present. It gave us an opportunity to upload proof of documentation. We then uploaded our negative PCR that we uh, got on arrival and our mobility pass that shows that we can leave our quarantine. The next day we were visited again by the health department and luckily we were home then. We then again showed them the negative PCR and our enabled mobility pass and they then told us that we are free to leave and that quarantine has ended. So there seems to be a disconnect with what the um, staff does and what the online system does. But at the end it worked out fine, so if you follow these steps you will have a carefree holiday and you will enjoy your time in Chile. So I hope you enjoyed this video, we've got a lot more coming and I hope you will come along on the road as we explore South America. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.